it, 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 she took it literally. I want a tattoo. Hey, well, just coincidentally, put somebody's you'll never eye out know with it. What you'll find in a lady's purse, <laughs> that's guys. True. Oh, that's, that's true. That's exactly right. Let's find out what's up in the sky. Uh, I'll tell you what. It's uh, we had a lot to talk about. So we had the snow. We have the rain. Yeah. We talked about the wind. Another thing I want to get into is the temperatures and the big changes yeah. that we're dealing there. So it's not a slow day, that's for sure, <laughs> in the weather department. Here's what it looks like live right now in Bethlehem. A very different look than it was, say, five hours ago before the snow came down, six hours ago. And then, of course, it looked even different than this right around the one o'clock time frame when there was snow everywhere, but now it's rain and it is starting to melt. Here's what it looks like in Center City. You got the low clouds, everything's damp, it's rain. It's certainly not any snow or ice that we're dealing with, but we do have some moderate rainfall coming down around the area, and that's what the radar is indicating in these shades of yellow. You know, you look at a place like this just south of Philadelphia here, and that's a rainfall rate of about a quarter inch per hour, and that's generally what we're looking at. So you get the picture. If it was raining that heavily, in an hour or a few hours, you're picking up a few inches of rain. It's not going to rain that heavily uh, the entire time, but you can see here as we look back to the west, there are definitely some other areas where the rain is coming down heavier. Specifically, want to point out we're tracking the chat from the National Weather Service, Summers Point, just south of Atlantic City by about 10 miles. Uh, some flooding roads going on there, so we're really watching this. That's going to be a potential issue tonight as you're driving about. You, you know, hit the flooded roads. It's one of those things, and it goes without saying anyhow, but, you know, both hands on the wheel, pay attention. You hit one of those, you know, big puddles, and all of a sudden you start, you know, the car jerks like that. It can really wake you up rather quickly. So that's the radar. Let's talk about the temperatures, because this is an interesting part of the story. 48 degrees right now in Philadelphia. We're way north of the freezing mark. Look at, you got Millville at uh, 50 degrees. You add a feels like number to it, and we're still in the 40s and 50s here. You got some 20s to the west, but watch what happens overnight. I'm going to leave it on the feels like temperature. Watch this into southern, say, South Jersey, right up to, say, Philly. Tonight, the later we get in the evening, the warmer it is going to be. By 11 o'clock tonight, we could see temperatures near 60 degrees. That's ahead of the cold front that's going to sweep through. So the next several hours, our numbers are going up. They're not going down, but then they will overnight. So when you walk out tomorrow morning, feels like temperature down in the 20s and 30s. It's a windy day tomorrow, so our feels like temperature, the wind chill is not even going to get above 40. So it's going to be hat, coat, you name it. It's going to be one of these really cold days tomorrow with the winds. It's dry, but it's just going to be a windy day. Then as we get into your late night, tomorrow night and Friday morning, if you have any plans, we, now we got some teens and 20s. So it will certainly feel like winter, even though it's not looking like winter out there. So we have the rain coming down right now. It will continue to rain over the next few hours. It will end, say, after midnight, generally speaking, in those east winds tonight, gusting to 30 miles per hour. Windier tomorrow as we go through the day, 45, partly cloudy, with those gusts up to 40 miles per hour. But looking ahead, the NFC Championship game, looking good, temperatures Upper 40s, dry, got a few clouds here and there, and last certainly not least, guys, looking ahead. We're back into the 50s. I do not see another wave of snow or deep cold, at least in this extended forecast. We'll be right back.